CNN's Christy Liu Stout joins us now live from Hong Kong. Great to see you, Christy. So what all does this study reveal about reinfection of COVID-19 and, of course, immunity? Yeah, and it is a landmark study of researchers here in Hong Kong saying that they have the first lab tested evidence of a, a, a reinfection of someone getting reinfected with the virus that causes COVID-19. Now, according to the team at the University of Hong Kong, they say that a 33-year-old Hong Kong man was reinfected some four and a half months after he first contracted the virus. Um, he first became sick in Hong Kong in March. He later tested positive for the virus on August 15th in Hong Kong at the airport upon his return from Spain by the UK with a completely different strain of the virus, a strain that was circulating in Europe between the months of July and August. And while he was infected the second time around, he did not show any symptoms of the virus. Now, up to now, there have been several reports in places like the US, Japan, and elsewhere of presumed reinfections of the coronavirus, but this reinfection was confirmed in a lab using genomic sequencing. Uh, earlier, I spoke to Professor Ivan Hung of the University of Hong Kong. He was one of the team members behind the study, and I asked him what the greatest takeaway was. Take a listen. Well, I think the most important message is that uh, even though you have recovered from a natural infection, it doesn't mean that you are immunized for life uh, for that virus. Uh, and also that you can see that this virus is, is very smart because it keeps on mutating. So that means that uh, even though you have recovered from a natural infection, you still need your vaccination uh, and you still need to, to wear masks uh, and keep your social distancing. Now, according to Ivan Hung and his colleagues, any potential vaccine may not be enough to provide lifelong immunity or protection. And in fact, he says an annual vaccine may be needed. So, Rosemary, imagine that in the event of a vaccine, we may have to take a shot every year. Back to you. Of course.